thank you all. Um, this, uh, this was an important small start, and we all realized that this is a small start for us because for the most part we are just painfully ignorant of each other's religions and traditions and... and Thank you very much for all those who, uh, who wrote so many questions for me. I think, <laughs> I think this warrants that I, I come back for another day. <laughs> Uh, this being said, uh, really very interesting questions, and uh, you know, uh, how many minutes do I have? Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 Robert Goh? Five minutes? Let's try and maybe address one or two of them. Well, actually, okay, I think uh, to just uh, take us a little bit <coughs> to uh, a higher kind of, uh, to the mountain top, uh, let me share with you. Uh, parts of what Karen Armstrong uh, said in this book called Muhammad, which I think is the best that is uh, written by a Westerner on the Prophet of Islam, and the most serious, and I really uh, recommend that you uh, read it. Uh, and uh, believe me, I am not getting any 10% of my <laughs> for, the, for the, the publicity. But uh, it's illuminating, and I think uh, it's important to have an illuminating moment, too. Uh, she says here, with regard to uh, you know, the, the concept of uh, holy war and wars in, in our traditions, all of our traditions, she says, uh, we tend to find, uh, yeah, she says, uh, the, uh, the Christian world is dominated by the image of the crucified Jesus, who said that his kingdom was not of this world. We tend to see failure and humiliation as the hallmark of a religious leader. Jesus, you know this, you know. Uh, we do not expect our spiritual heroes to achieve a dazzling success in mundane terms. So this goes to the root of the difficulty between Muslims and Christians in terms of perception of the other. And I think if we are serious about dialogue, we need to go to the roots of things. She continues, in particular, we tend to find it scandalous and even wicked that Muhammad had to fight his way to peace, power, and victory Islam has been dubbed the religion of the sword, a faith which has abandoned true spirituality by sanctifying violence and intolerance. It is an image that has dogged Islam in the Christian West ever since the Middle Ages. Even though Christians were fighting their own holy wars in the Middle East, at this time. Today, popular books and television programs frequently uh, sport titles like Rage of Islam, Sword of Islam, Sacred Rage, or Holy Terror. But this is a distortion of the truth. I'll bite September 11th. And I'm coming to that because one of you said to me that uh, I said that September 11th was kind of had to happen. I don't think I said that. You know, uh, I just put it in the context that, you know, it happened because it happened somehow we are more active in, in interfaith reach out. 